In this video, we will be using double linear interpolation to estimate enthalpy for 240 PSI and 650 uh, Fahrenheit. And so if you notice, we have 600 Fahrenheit and we have 700 Fahrenheit. We don't have 650 Fahrenheit. Likewise, we know 220 PSI and 250 PSI. We don't know 240 PSI. So we will have to use double linear interpolation. In order to use double linear interpolation, essentially we're using uh, linear interpolation but three times. And I'll show you what I mean. So one piece of information that we could do is 650 uh, Fahrenheit comma for 220 PSI. We don't know 650 PSI but we do know 220 PSI. And so we can do a simple linear interpolation. And so let's do that. So we will be using this formula. So fx1. So in our case, this would be 652. 652 plus, so fx2 now would be uh, 681, you know, 700 degrees. So 681 minus fx1, which was 652 divided by x2 minus x1. So divided by 700 minus 600 times, so we have x, x minus x1. x is going to be 650, that, that is what we're solving for, minus um, x1 was 600. And so if we simply run this into a calculator, we would get 666.5 BTUs per pound. So this is one piece that we need. Next we will do uh, 650 uh, for 250 PSI. And so we do the same idea as this. So we'll say equal, so now it's going to be 650 for fx1 650 plus um, fx2 was 679 minus 650 divided by x2 is going to be 700 minus x1 was 600 so 700 minus 600 times so this is same it's going to be 650 that, that's what we're solving for, minus x1 is 600. And if we use a calculator, we would get 664.5 BTUs per uh, pound. And now we have one more to finally get the answer. And so this is going to be 650, comma, for 240 PSI. This is what we want. The information that we will use in order to solve this problem will be this and this. And let's get started. So it's going to be, so fx1 will correspond to 666.5 BTUs per pound. 666.5 plus fx2 would be this, 664.5 minus fx1, same. 666.5 divided by 250 minus 220. X2 is 250. And X1 was 220 PSI times, so we want to solve for X, which was 240 PSI minus um, X1 was 220 PSI. And if you run this into a calculator, we would get 665.2 BTUs per pound. And now we can think, does this answer even make sense? So we're saying at 650 Fahrenheit and 240 PSI, we would get 665.2 BTUs per pound. And let's check. So as temperature increases from 600 to 700, right? this increases, the enthalpy increases, right? 
and as PSI increases, the enthalpy decreases from 652 to 650. And so what we got was uh, 650 Fahrenheit, somewhere in between, and 240 PSI. So somewhere here, I guess you could say. And we got 665.2 uh, BTUs per pound. So it's kind of reasonable. And that's all we need to do to use double interpolation.